Hi everyone, um, welcome to our webinar. We're really excited to have you here. Um, today, we're gonna be talking a little bit about streaming Broadway licensing titles through Stellar. Um, my name's Susan, um, I'm on the team here at Stellar. I head up account management, um, so working one-on-one -on -one with our organizers to make sure that your events are a success. Passing it over to Lauren. Hi everyone, I'm Lauren. I am the Licensing Operations Supervisor at Broadway Licensing, and I lead a team of amazing licensing specialists, and we're here to guide you through the process of licensing and streaming your production with the overall goal of making everyone a theater person. Great, so we're here just to discuss this new partnership, um, how to stream with Stellar, and to help answer any questions that you may have. Um, on the right side of your screen, you'll notice that there's a chat, so please feel free to drop in questions um, as we go through the presentation, and we will answer those at the end. So I'm gonna start with our partnership. Um, Stellar is the new home for Broadway On Demand and Showshare. So the two streaming products that were delivered to you by Broadway Licensing and the two streaming services you know and love are now hosted in a more affordable, easier to use platform that makes recording, streaming and hosting your show more seamless than ever. Any show you stream through Broadway Licensing and its imprints Broadway Licensing, Play Scripts, Dramatist Play Service, and our newest imprint, Stage Rights, requires a live video archival license to stream or record your show for any purpose. Recording or streaming your show without a license to do so is a violation of copyright laws, and our playwrights take that very seriously. And it's important to protect your program by ensuring you have a live video archival license. I'm sure you have some questions, um, so let me dive into the details a bit more. Uh, so the first question is, what is a live video archival license and what does it entail? A, license, a vi live video archival license is a license cost that gives you the choice to, uh, so basically you're paying for permission and the rights to stream. And this is a license, not a fee. Uh, what if I purchase my license in 2021? What happens to my upfront fees? If your order was processed and paid, you will receive a refund through Broadway licensing. And then you'll want to contact your licensing representatives who will get that squared away from you. If for some reason you have not purchased a live video archival license, but you paid your upfront fees, we can transfer that payment to your live video archival license. Thanks for that. Um, so now I'm just going to jump in as to why uh, you would stream and what the benefits are. Um, so obviously you're tuning in because you are interested in this. Um, so just want to share a few insights that we've seen here at Stellar. So the first reason to stream is new opportunities to grow your revenue. Um, we know with in-person, you're limited to the number of seats within your venue and the number of performances um, that you are doing. Um, so by streaming, you really open up that access and your reach um, to expand to audiences outside of your city. Um, second is accessibility um, for a variety of reasons, whether it be health related, proximity, um, folks aren't always able to make performances in person. Um, so by introducing streaming into your programming, you really open up that opportunity and let friends and family from across the country um, tune in and see uh, what you're doing. So just to chat a little bit more about your options for streaming on Stellar. So the first option is what we call live live stream. So this is a live stream happening in real time. So as the performance is going on on stage, you are streaming and broadcasting out to your audiences in real time. So that's option one. Option two is pre-recorded live stream. So in this instance, you would capture your performance, edit down that video, make it look just the way you'd like it, but still schedule it as though it's a live stream. So still instructing audiences to tune in Friday at eight to view the show. That's option two. And last we have just straight video on demand, um, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Um, this is where you would upload a pre-recorded asset um, and then you could have that live for as long as you would like or however long your license allows. 
So those are your three options on Stellar. You're also able to combo any of those. So let's say you want to do a live stream, but then offer a video on demand afterwards. Um, you're able to combo any and all of those stream types together. So now I'm going to pass it over to Lauren just to talk a little bit more about the costs involved with streaming. Thanks, Susan. So the most exciting part of, uh, about this is the question about the streaming costs. So our newest streaming costs have eliminated many of the technology and ticketing fees that have proved to be an obstacle in the past. And here's a little bit about where we were and where we are now. As you can see from this graphic, we've uh, listed your feedback and worked to make the process better than ever. When licensing and streaming a production, an organization should budget for two areas. The first is your license. You should also plan for your post-production fees, such as a percentage of ticket sales. Before Showshare, organizations who streamed always paid an upfront technology fee when licensing the show. And that fee often ranged from $125 and up, often going into $300 to $400. In addition, Showshare producers were also charged service fees on each ticket. What we found is that a majority of schools were paying more upfront than they were making at the box office. They were essentially losing money. So we eliminated the upfront show shared fixes um, to fix that. And our goal is to make theater accessible. So now you're paying for your license ahead of your production and then pay out royalties after your production based on your box office. Great, thanks for explaining that. Um, so just to piggyback off of Lauren's, now we've removed that upfront fee and are now moving to a box office revenue share. And the other difference is now when you're selling tickets on Stellar, you are the merchant of record. Um, so this means no waiting for a payout after your event has concluded. Um, everything is happening in real time and you'll be able to see that revenue reflected in your account as soon as the transaction happens. Um, so we utilize the credit card processor Stripe. Um, if for some reason your organization or your school district, um, you know, is not comfortable with setting up Stripe or is unable to, you do have the option to sell off platform as well. Um, and if you're selling on Stellar, you also have the option to defer any of these additional fees that we've discussed uh, to your customer at checkout. Um, so now I'm going to go in and kind of give a little walkthrough of the back end and give a demo um, of the Stellar platform. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now. So when, this is your Stellar dashboard. Um, so this is where you're going to be able to create your events, ticket them, and stream to your customers. Um, the benefit of working with Broadway On Demand and Broadway Licensing is that all of your license details are shared with Stellar ahead of time. So we'll know your organization name, the name of your show, and your license dates. Um, so we'll go ahead and pre-populate that for you within your first event. Before I dive into that, I'm going to go down here to settings to talk a little bit more about getting set up. So here we've got your profile and plan section. This is an opportunity for you to um, you know, share your website, any social media that you have for your organization, um, because these will be live links on your event page. So highly recommend filling those out. And then lastly, down here, we've got your organization plan, which is Broadway On Demand. Um, this section reflects the box office revenue share um, model that we're moving towards now. Um, so you'll notice that there are um, a 30% per ticket um, fee involved. If you are selling off platform, this obviously doesn't apply to you. Um, so for any off platform sales, um, you will receive an invoice after your show has concluded um, for any issued or comped tickets um, for your performance. There's one added benefit to selling on platform. Um, for anyone who is a nonprofit, 501c3, um, we do offer an additional opportunity for fundraising. Um, if you provide your EIN number to the Stellar team here, we will open up donations for you. 
Um, donations can be collected as an upsell option during checkout. Um, and even during the live stream, we've got a live button um, that will be there during the live stream um, so folks can donate in real time. So some great fundraising options for you there. Next, I'm gonna move into members. So members, uh, you're able to invite as many people from your team as you need. Um, it's a very simple process here. You would just click invite, put in their email address, and then they would have access to your account. One good thing to keep in mind is that um, everyone who joins will have access to all of your information within your dashboard. So just keep that in mind as you invite folks. Lastly, under settings, I'm going to move to legal. So in order to publish your event, um, you will need to agree to the terms of service here. This is agreement between Stellar and your organization. And then also this section here for performance rights payment. Obviously, you've secured your streaming rights through Broadway licensing. Um, so you'll just select this first option here and submit. So once you've agreed to all of the terms of service, you've connected Stripe, you're ready to go ahead and move into your event build. So I'm going to go here to events and products and click an event. So as I mentioned earlier, Broadway licensing will give us all of those details surrounding your show and license dates. So you'll see here that you will have a pre-built shell of a performance here. So I'm going to click into the event. And we've created what is essentially a templated self-serve um, setup here for you. Um, you can go in, add a description about your event, any bios, anything like that, um, and then also customize your event page. So down here, we've got the media section where you're able to put in different images, um, for your landscape cover. Um, we have additional slots here if there's more images that you'd like to use. And additionally, if you've got a video trailer, um, we're also able to host it on your event page as well. As you're setting this up and customizing it, um, you're able to preview your page at any time by clicking this preview URL right here. Um, that way you can make sure that everything is looking just how you like it before you publish. So next, I'm going to move into this performances section here. So this is where you will build out each of your different performances with dates and times. And then similarly to the event page, you're going to be able to go in, add a summary, and add any kind of description that you need. And then it comes down to this section called inventories. So this is where you're going to build the ticket types um, that you would like to offer. It's super simple. You click add an inventory and you're able to select which type of ticket it is. And as I mentioned earlier, you're able to combo tickets. Um, so you can offer both live stream and video on demand. And then Stellar is also set up for in-person ticketing as well. So once you determine once uh, what type of ticket you would like, um, you can go ahead, limit the inventory quantity if that's something that you need to do, set the device limit, add in any custom content that you'd like your audiences to know. And then lastly, these checkout questions down here. Um, you own all of the data that you collect through these transactions on Stellar. Um, so highly recommend taking advantage of these checkout questions. So you'll see I've got inventory set up for live stream. Um, I've introduced two different price points here. So full price general admission, $15. And then you'll see that I've added in this $10 price point here. Um, but this is hidden behind an offer code. So I've used this example of friends and family. So if you'd like to give a slight discount to any cast members, um, anyone involved with the show, you can certainly set that up on Stellar by creating a generic offer code. Um, when folks go to checkout to buy a ticket, there is a space there for you to enter in a code if you have one, and then it'll unlock that special discount. Lastly, you'll see I've created a video on demand inventory here. 
And then right below, this is where you would set up and schedule your video on demand. So I'll click add VOD. You can title the, um, the name of the video on demand here. And then you can set the availability windows. So the specific date and time that the video on demand will become available and then when it expires. Once you set this up, you'll then be able to upload your video asset through our media library here on the left. And you will be good to go. Um, the system will automatically make the video on demand live at the exact date and time that you set it. And then we'll make it unavailable for viewing at the exact day and time that you've set it to expire. Um, so really, really easy. The other thing I wanted to just share, if you're selling off platform and you need to issue tickets uh, for a live stream, video on demand, whatever it may be, you would simply create the inventories just as I've done here, but you would click these ellipses and then click issue inventory. So you have the option to do this uh, one email at a time, or you can import from file. Um, and we even give you a little example of um, an Excel file for you. That way, if you've got a bunch of names, you can upload them all at one time and the system will let you know once those have all been successfully delivered. Um, the great part about Stellar is that once a customer has purchased or has been issued a ticket, the system will send out a series of emails on your behalf. So purchase confirmation, confirmation of an issued ticket, and then even reminders um, for live stream and VOD. Um, at any time, if you're interested, you can go in and preview these emails. Um, this will pull exactly from your event description and performance. And then also down at the bottom here, we bake in instructions for how to view the stream. Um, we understand that this is a change for not only you, but for your audiences. So we really like to um, give clear instructions, have them test the stream ahead of time and really arm them with all the information that they need. Um, and then at the bottom here, Stellar is able to be viewed not only on the laptop, but also on smart TVs and mobile devices. So down here, we've got all the links out to the different stores um, that we are offered on. So at the time of the stream, um, your customers uh, would click go to the event or access their ticket wallet um, from Stellar and then would be sent to a live page um, that looks like this. Um, so you'll see they'll get this message here that says you're in the right place if they happen to be tuning in a bit early. Um, and then uh, just like you're watching now, we've got the chat on the side and then emojis for folks to react in real time. This is a great tool to really get at home audiences engaged. Um, but if for some reason you don't want to have the chat live or emojis, you can certainly turn that off. Um, so it's completely up to you. So the last thing I want to touch on for the demo is how you can get help if you have questions. So first, for anyone who is live streaming, we do offer stream coaching here at Stellar, um, and that will be a part of your onboarding. Um, this is one-on-one -on -one time with our stream coach uh, to kind of take a look at your setup, give any tips, tricks, suggestions of how we can make sure that your stream is the best quality that it can be. Second, if you have any questions about building out inventories, VODs, anything like that, up here in the right-hand corner, we've got this help button with a link to our help center. So this is a really robust library that we've created. You're able to search um, for anything that you're having issues with, if it's offer codes, anything like that. And we've got a ton of help articles there uh, to help support you. Um, then we have this little chat button down here in the right hand corner. If you're not able to find what you need in the help library, you can always click on here to have a live chat with our organizer support team here at Stellar. Um, or lastly, you can always send us a note at organizer support at stellartickets.com. So that is the end of my demo. 
Um, so I think now we'll go to the chat um, and see if what questions we have and what we can answer. Lauren, I'll let you kick it off. I think that you're muted. <laughs> you All go. right, so I will kick us off. Um, and the first question that we've seen come in um, is, can I adjust my existing license to change my stream type? So that is a wonderful question. And it's a bit of a trick question. So your license covers one performance regardless of stream type. Some titles have restrictions on live streaming or archival only. So you'll wanna work with your licensing representative and refer to your licensing agreement for questions about your specific title. Um, another question um, seems to be related to the 30% fee breakdown. Uh, where does the money go and why do I have to pay it? <laughs> so another great question. So the 30% goes to um, pay Broadway licensing and paying for the royalties related to that author's work. And then a portion of that does go to the Stellar team as well. Um, and another question related more to licensing would be, what if I need to change the date of my stream? Do I need to get a different license? So the license will remain the same, but you'll want to notify um, our team at dpsinfo at broadwaylicensing.com if you do want to change your date so that we can update that agreement to reflect your correct performance dates. Fantastic. Um, I will take this next one. So how long can you host a VOD video on Stellar and does it have to expire? So. For VOD, you can have this live for a day, a week, a month, a year, however long you'd like to have it live. But what I will say is for any licensed titles, make sure to check in with your licensing agreement or your licensing rep just to confirm that you do have the necessary permissions to keep it live for that amount of time. All right, so the next question I'll take. Who do I reach out to if I need to change my performance dates? So you'll want to reach out to uh, info at broadwaylicensing.com so that we can assist you with that date change. And that would be for any of our imprints, Dramatist Play Service, Play Scripts, Stage Rights, and our Broadway Licensing Catalog of Musicals. Fantastic. Um, I'll take this next one. So how do I set up captions and really promote accessibility? Um, so the answer to this one is it depends on which type of streaming option you are offering your audiences. For video on demand, um, captions will need to be baked in to the video asset. Um, so as you're editing down your video file, captions will also need to be included in the final asset that you upload to Stellar. For live streaming, there are a bunch of different softwares and tools out there um, to help with captioning in real time. And again, this is something that uh, will be covered during your stream coaching session. Um, so whatever softwares you're using, we'll be able to advise on the best setup for that and have it be a part of your stream. All right. Um, yeah, so just one other thing that I just wanted to note, um, you know, we at Stellar will send out a welcome email to you um, once we receive all your license information from Broadway Licensing. Um, so you should expect to hear from organizer support at StellarTickets.com. Um, we'll give you all the information to get started, where to book your first onboarding session, and you'll be good to go. Um, so that seems to be it, I believe, for questions. Um, I just want to thank Lauren and Broadway Licensing um, for participating in this with us. Um, we're really excited about this partnership and we're really thankful for all of you tuning in. Yes, thank you guys so much for joining us today and for Stellar for putting together this webinar for all of us.